everyone. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. Um, my name is Marie. Um, these are my lovely parents. Yes. Um, yesterday I was uh, having a conversation with someone and we talked about, um, you know, when I was younger and different things. And I was just thinking, you know, let me reach out more to my parents. Yeah. Just thinking about my relationship with my mother. And I was thinking about some things. We've been through hard times mm -hmm. um, growing up. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the enemy is sneaky. Yes. And try to sneak up on you when yes. you least expect it. So my mother spoke about God just wanting a relationship with us. And when I reflect back on my relationship with my mother, and I compare it to my relationship with God, um, being disobedient, not yes. always doing what God yes. wants us to do. Um, you know, going through different things in my life, at one point, Point. I blamed God, doubted God, yes. walked away yes. from God. Yes. It's that same relationship um, yes. with my mother. And I was, it's funny because when I woke up this morning, I was like, did I really deal with that? You know, I've always been a fighter, I've always been persistent, but you know, it just came to me like, did I push through it or did I break through it? Mm -hmm. Either, um, so I know that, you know, just being, um, just being constantly, you know, taking blows from the enemy and doubting God in that process only to realize that you know when you submit and yes. you know the Bible right. says God is close to the broken yes. Yes. and I've been broken quite some you know quite a few times Jesus. Jesus. and you know just God has always brought me through it yes. um, just, yes. 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 so when I think about um, and I just want to share this with you because um, I just called my parents this morning and I said, you know, I'm going to um, visit, my, my girlfriend asked me to come visit her church and I promised her would and I really got to get there and I, so I came to my parents so I was like, you know what, I used to go to the club and then after the club, I went to the after hour. <coughs> so I heard, um, I'm, Sylph, is yes. it? Yes. I heard I heard her speak on it. She you know she she made reference to that. So I said, you know what? I'm gonna go worship with my parents, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna spend some time worshiping with my Amen. friend. But I started yeah. talking about yeah. Yeah. I started talking about my relationship with my mother because family has always been important to me, and yes. that has been you know you think okay. You know, you think, oh, the devil is going to tempt you and going to the club. Well, the devil is going to tempt you uh, again. She's some still, she talked about it. That's the letters, the hill. Yeah, yeah, the devil yeah, is going to yeah. tempt you. You expect drugs, certain yeah. things you expect the, devil, the enemy to come against you with. But you never think about like the heart of the family. Yeah. And I, that's been my I, kryptonite, so to speak, yeah. that family. And when you know you don't put God first, and you yes. go to choose that yes. man, yes. And you're not yes. thinking that yes. foundation has to begin with God. Yeah. You know, we won't stand. So I, I kept asking myself, did I push through it or did I break through it? Right. You know, did I just make it through it? You know, I know I didn't make it through it without God, but did I really deal with it? It was in my heart. Did I, am I continuously feed in my yes. spirit? Because when I spoke to someone and they brought all these things up about what my mother and I went through, and, and it's funny that I'm here. And you know what I told that person on the phone? I said, well, you know what? It may not have been the best relationship, but one thing I can thank God for, one thing I can tell anyone that my mother did right, that trumps everything, is she introduced me to God. Amen. 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 Without God, I wouldn't be here today. Amen. Without, without God, I wouldn't have made it through those obstacles. Amen. So I asked my mother, I said, what's the name of the church? And she told me, she said, oh, it's the house of Job. And when I think about Job yes, in the Bible, yes. I'm like, hey. Yes. The devil speaks any way, anything you can think of. That's me. You know, the devil, he raised up every way. And but you know what? He said, you know what? God said you could touch anything else, but you can't touch him. And I, and the enemy has definitely tried to come up against me every way, but praise God, I'm still here today. So I just, you know, thank you for allowing me to come in and worship with you. Um, I really enjoyed myself. I said, Messi Boku. Um, so I'm just really pleased to be here. And just God bless everyone. Amen. Amen.